Welcome everybody back to Elinor. This is the special Monday. Labor Day morning stream. Hello everyone. The Studio Secretary Murder. See the killer now, guys. So, of course, we will look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring and matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Dear Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. A 40 year old white woman. Right, Skipper. The bodies are piling up, guys. He's only a rider, so he can't really help me. Another body and Deirdre Muller's ring. The Emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. What exactly did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass, Phelps? Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? I need a drink. I got the jitters again. Are you drunk, man? But the exit looks different here, guys. Um. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Is the other way. Yeah, we... When? That's the guy from the paper. We went Fuck down... Wait, hold on. Where is the exit? The early bird gets the worm. <laughs> I'm lost. Alright, alright. Here it is. Alright, so our first stop is a pawn shop, right? And then we head to the crime scene. With the new body. So, personal artifact from the previous victim. Or victims are turning up at the pawn shop, the pawn broker. Okay, globe, loan, and jewelry. You got I'm, to admit, this is looking hot. And he went to pawn a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators, Paul. Hugo Moller was identified by the school's ground team. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran, for God's sake. And he always maintained he was set up. Of course he is set up. Alright, wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> Where am I going? <laughs> Alright, the other way. Rujan, please. Yeah, everybody we've been caught so far has been set up guys by the real killer. Oh, killers! Maybe he's a bureau. <laughs> Maybe he's a, he's a shadow group, guys. Then he's doing all the murders here. Oh, wait! <laughs> Look at the flag! Oh, yeah, we have arrived already. Money and loan. Pawn shop. There's no automatic parking. <laughs> Interesting, guys. There's always automatic parking. A 
can I help you boys? Hello. Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I going to get something for this pledge? I gave that bum money. Now you guys are going to leave me short. How much did you give him? 50 bucks. Try another number. 20? Try 10. You feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. What a bully, guys. I mean, my partner is a bully. <laughs> Alright, so... Two rings. What's this mark here? Maker's mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. And the other one? Does this mark mean anything? Hallmark. Gives you an idea of the quality. 22k. So no other symbols on this one. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. So we head to the new address before we go to the grind scene. Oh, we don't have that one. Oh, all right. Never mind. We're heading to the grind scene at the railyard. Railyard and Freight Depot, site of motor victim discovery. Yes. We have a problem. We could have the local trooper check out the Clare County address. The address is bogus. The purpose having fun with us. Make up your mind, please. The guy who's been <laughs> sending the Dahlia letters is also me guys. Guys. on these rings. How do you figure that? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. If the Dahlia letters are genuine, then the man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also killed Deirdre Muller. And how do we prove that, No. Skipper ain't gonna like this one bit. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own vanity. Any sentry units, 459 Ooh. suspects to be taken into custody at the trolley station on Lucas Avenue. Stand by for further. We do have a side mission here. Let's do one, guys. Before we head to the crime scene. <laughs> God, you're gonna kill us! You're going too fast! <laughs> Sorry, dude. Maybe. It's a good idea to leave the intersection and go to the sidewalk. <laughs> Wait for the police. Don't stand in the middle of the intersection there. <laughs> Look at my car, it's dented, guys. This one is far away. Maybe we shouldn't have... Oh, okay, tunnel. Through the tunnel. <laughs> I was gonna go around. The 
Does the map actually show us the distance between our current location and our objective? I wonder, guys. The over... Uh, the over city map. Alright, we are getting closer now. That is a dead end. I think there's a shortcut over here. I kind of remember. Go through. Go through the street here. Oh, oh, go up. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Ouch. Why don't we just make this a, make this a road, an official road? Not a shortcut, please. Whoa, no! Whoa, whoa! Okay, that was a horrible idea, guys. <laughs> Oops. Okay, okay, there we go. Why are people running away? Because of my dangerous driving. <laughs> They're running away. Oh, they running? Oh, because of the siren. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Listen to the siren, lady. <laughs> Don't cross the road when you Initial hear a siren. Four five nine suspects to be taken into custody at the trolley station on Lucas Avenue. Stand by for further. Trolley station. Here we are. This is Car Eleven King. Go ahead, with further. Eleven King. Two four five nine suspects sighted in the vicinity of the trolley station on Lucas Avenue between Court and Colton. Where? Oh. You should have iced those folks. You leave no witnesses, you stay out of the post. Not riding all the way to Santa Ana and then on to Cincinnati with you pissing in my but ear. But I'm tired of always being on the lam. I don't have a choice. A stick-up charge is still a stick-up charge, and I ain't going back inside. Well, too late now. We're here. You're both coming with me. Don't do anything stupid. They are doing something stupid now. <laughs> I think they are dead devils, guys. Oh, oh, come on! <laughs> I'm losing them. Where are they? Uh. <laughs> you look at the map here, guys. Where did. Oh, turn left, turn left. Oh, that, that woman is shooting at us, guys. Keep it Jeez. steady, I'll try to bust this tire. Lady Killer. <laughs> the man is driving and the woman is shooting. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Siren. I need my siren here. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Whoa! Oh! Hands up, please. Put your hands where I can see them. Guys are going back in. Behind bars. Car 11K calling KGPL. Code 4 at the Lucas Avenue trolley station. 459 suspects are in custody. Violent suspects, guys. <laughs> Alright, we are finally going to the case. I'm not going to stop at any side mission, guys. <laughs> From now on, we're heading straight to the crime scene. I, I think one is enough. Nice shortcut. Okay. 
Ouch. Watch it, will you? Okay. I'm not going to stop for this one. No. That was a wonderful drive. I mean, this is a wonderful drive. <laughs> no pressures, guys. All right, we are supposed to, to... Wait, hold on. There's a... Oh, the road underneath this. Hold on. Let me get back down there somehow. Whoa! <laughs> that was close. Uh, wait, what is up with the road here? It's the layout is confusing, guys. The layout? Are we supposed to go the other way? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Whoa, hold on, go underneath the overpass here. What? Let me go through this, this street here. Yes. <laughs> confusing layout. Whoa. Alright, here we are. Crime scene. Where's the body? So you the woman was walking right Follow by the me. tracks. We should keep this development in the ring. We're right not here yet. We're all on the same team, Rusty. Chain of commands, though. The skipper will decide who needs to know. Got it? I get it, Rusty. Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. Yebu, Timba, hello, welcome to the stream. Also, Yagnik, Ravwa. And Dragoon Mewtwo, welcome back. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Labor Day Morning Stream. Hello. Uh, please play Shadow Wolf Mystery. I think I've played them all. Yakni, search my channel. I think I've played all the games on the series. All right, let's go take a look at the body first, guys. It's so right here, huh? Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Stepping over the body. What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age. Lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing. At least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. There's a lot of blood. So he, I mean... Oh, uh, the killer was holding a weapon, guys. Something like a a uh, a hex wrench, right? So he hit her with this weapon, and then he strangled her. Wait, can I have a closer look at the body? Oh, there we are. <laughs> look at the blood. 
smell very good there is the usual evacuation smell but it appears she's been living rough for quite some time very strong smell of alcohol well, the autopsy will tell but i would assume that she was inebriated Another missing ring. ring. Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. Look at this blood. There's a lot of blood. You can even splatter onto the train. Blood splatter on the carriage. She must have been struck while standing up. She was walking on the train tracks. Beautiful day. Hope we don't have any trouble. Um, St. David Street, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Dear Evelyn, hope that this letter finds you a, a better way than when we last parted. Bitter words were exchanged. You had taken too much liquor, and we both know what that makes you become. Become, but I'm not waiting. I'm not writing to harass or accuse. I'm writing to apologize. I was heartbroken seeing what had become of my little girl, and what she is doing to herself. You are destroying your body and your soul with liquor, Evelyn, and it is harder for me to watch than you can imagine. But only God Almighty above us has a right to judge. And so I beg you forgiveness. I've been in contact with the sanitarium here in Connecticut on your behalf. They say your condition is an illness, Evelyn, and that is, and that it can be treated. You only need to check yourself in. So this is probably from her parents, her elderly parents. Oh, I, I don't know why she. I don't know why I said that, guys. We don't know her age. <laughs> right? Maybe she's in her twenties. Is that her ID? Maybe we will find out soon. Evelyn Summers. Let's go to the lot and see what they know about her. Uh -huh. That's going to be difficult, Cole. Keystone we Studio lot closed back in forty-one. Keystone Film Company, an actress. Was she an actress? Legal department? No, she is not. <laughs> She's in the legal department. So she works in the office. Oh wait, 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 the back. The back. Nothing at the back. Could this be... Wait, what is it? Someone at Mensch's will remember her. Mensch's Bar, Corner 9 and Main. Evelyn Summers. This is a chit for personal items, not booze. It's an angle worth investigating. W personal items? Liquor store. Large suitcase, small suitcase, bedroll, pillow, plain bed sheet. Three photo frames, hairbrush, boiling pin, statuette, makeup, clothes. Why is this list 
on uh, this piece of receipt or paper, guys. Levine's Liquor Store. Huh. I got this gadget whiz guy putting recording devices at the place. Did she order these items? From another store? <laughs> I keep stepping over the body. That's horrible, guys. But before we talk to anyone, let's just look at the physical items here. Or maybe that is all. For the fence. She was walking on the train tracks, but uh, we got a barrier here. It's, like, it's quite a small area, guys. Alright, uh, let's talk to... I think we have two witnesses, and this is the first one. Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. Alright. So, I guess the other guy is more important then. You are over the body. You were over the body. Wait, hold on. There's a there's a phone. I think we're supposed to make a phone call. Hold on. Back at the car. We have to look up information. I think. No, no phone call. No. <laughs> Wait, where's the phone? Where's the phone? Maybe. Oh, right here <laughs> on the lamppost. <laughs> Usually we can make calls from the car. <laughs> we did it before. Phelps badge twelve forty-seven. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, Detective. Closest store would be the one at nine three nine South Hope Street. Thanks. Thank you. Yes. New address. All right. Let's just go talk to that uh, the witness guys. Is there really nothing else? No other physical items? Hey, can you give me a hand? I got a hard case I need to break. My job is to secure the crime scene. You need to review the evidence and speak to the witnesses. <laughs> are you are you teaching? Are you telling me what to do here, officer? <laughs> I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Detective Phelps, LAPD Homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. You are a sick dude. You stole the lipstick. Oh. Classic Carmine. Oh my god. On her lips first before you kiss her. 
That is sick, guys. Wait, anything, anything interesting here? No. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop! Don't hit him. Man. Pacific Electric Rail Yard employee. Potential suspicious witness. You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. Um... Shall we doubt him? Yeah, sometimes these questions are not <laughs> very specific, I mean. <laughs> we are not asking ab about if uh, he's, if he... Um, okay, what was I talking about? I mean, <laughs> the lipstick evidence, guys. We are not asking him if he... Uh, if he has stolen from the victim. Right? We are just talking about what happened here. So he's not lying, guys. He was checking out the, the bag. So that is not a lie in itself. Quit staring at me like I'm some kind of freak. Yes, you are. <laughs> you know it. You, you know it yourself, too. Yes, you are a freak. <laughs> Thank you for admitting it. Shall we do a lie? All right, the truth comes. Did you take any money? Wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick and her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. All right. I'm glad I didn't say a lie, guys. <laughs> the question wasn't wasn't about the lipstick. <laughs> Just about going through the stuff in her handbag. All right, the body. You found the body. Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. You found a body and then you tried to kiss her. <laughs> what a sickle, guys. Why the shifty eyes, though? You are telling the truth, no? You found a body, yes. <laughs> but... Oh, I don't like this kind of questions, guys. How am I supposed to respond here? <laughs> he is telling the truth, but the shifty eyes here. So let's let's doubt him. Doubt. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I can tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... You deserve that Fly. punch. You get this sack of shit into a cell, I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. Yeah, I don't think he's a killer here, guys. He just tried to <laughs> kiss the victim, that is all. He's a sick bastard, but uh, I don't think he's a killer, guys. So, I, I, are, are we done? Yeah. Beautiful day. Hope who, we don't have any trouble. Who keeps saying this? <laughs> beautiful, what beautiful day? You, we just found a body here, and it's a beautiful day. What are you thinking, Ray? The city keeps tossing us dead bodies. We're just running to catch up. Oh, 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 what is that? There's something here. Oh, almost missed this light. Uh, is it the lighter? Circumstantial, not important. <laughs> okay, never mind. Oh! Oh, this, these things are easily missable, guys. It's a smarter man than me to connect that. No. <laughs> Even though they're not important. 
we need to pay more attention to uh, that magnifying glass icon. Anyone else want to talk to me? No. All right. I think we are done. I think we are done. Oh, maybe we need to walk in between the train cars here and have a look, guys. Okay. How about the other way? Oh. Oh, oh, that's the victim, isn't it? Oh, that's the blood. Alright, I think we're going, guys. That is all. Alright, let's go. We're heading to the bar. Yeah, let's go there first, guys. Uh, actually, no. Let's go to uh, the liquor store. Let's go there first. Chain liquor store. <laughs> Wild. Afraid that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? I guess that's okay, man. Armies can't fight without food. You spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country will become a king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? KDPR to all units. Do some reports, man with a gun. Union and Rockwood Street. Union and Rockwood Street. Get it to handle code two. Identify. How far is he? <laughs> all right. Uh, never mind. It missed my chance. Yeah. Sometimes these side missions are far away. Let's back the car all the way to the liquor store. <laughs> Doable, guys. I mean, uh, Dragoon Mewtwo. Doable. <laughs> but that would take a while. Oh, landmark? What landmark? <laughs> we discovered a landmark. Alright, never mind. <laughs> Not important, guys. But, but they actually. Wait, they actually. Whoa, whoa! Watch where you. That is a hit and run. <laughs> hit and run, guys. The tram crashing to us, and, and then he is gone. <laughs> that was a hit and run. <laughs> I stayed behind. Stay off the moon, giant and he drove away. The driver drove away. I'm still traumatized by uh, the last crash, so <laughs> this is no fault of mine. <laughs> I'm too traumatized to drive safely.
All right, uh, the Levine's liquor store. What can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins? Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Really? Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. She left her stuff here. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let me look at yourself here first. <laughs> Anything interesting here? No. You got some fine stock here, Mr. Robbins. Yes. Oh, this case might get solved a lot quicker. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. Here. Uh, did she sleep here, Mr. Robbins? The personal items, guys. She wasn't always such a loner. Evelyn was reading Aristotle. Wow. Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. And she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor? I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. She was working at the desk shop over at the movie studio, right? Could this be uh, an award? When exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? He's so famous. 1938. copyrights for music. But she has something like an, uh, an Oscar here, guys. The Academy Awards! I wonder why she has one like this. And she's not even an actress. Maybe just a memento from the studio? A bowling pin. Rawlings? Bowling. Rawlings. Rawlings bowling alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Rawlings. I know that place. Corner of 9th and Grand. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday nights. Best friends? Mother and daughter, guys. Or maybe mother and daughter here. Yeah, the woman on the left does look older. Anything else? Well, let me go talk to uh, Mr. Robbins here. A friend of her husband. Oh wait, this is the wrong place. Oh no, that's Mr. Robbins. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fandango? Alright. 42 years of Robbins. 
liquor store owner and friend of victim Evelyn Summers. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things. She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. How often did she sleep here? Because I saw a bed. Oh, I think that's the truth, guys. That's the truth. Any idea where the money came from? She didn't mention it. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. Ooh. She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Relationship with the victim. Were you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? I'll be one of the few. Okay, uh, he looks a little bit different here. Sh uh, shall we doubt him? I think we need to doubt him. When Evelyn bought the booze, did she say who she was meeting or where she was going? A young drinking friend of hers, I think. Don't recall his name. Ouch. <laughs> that was the truth, guys. Hmm. Do you know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. But you have heard of the name. Yeah, he seems a little bit distraught here, guys. I think he... He cared... For her. I think... He's a... He's a good friend. He looks a bit sad, true. She talked about McCaffrey. Supposedly, he fought in the International Brigade in Spain and in the miners' strikes back in Virginia. I thought you were Evelyn's friend, Robbins. You should learn some manners, some goddamn respect. We're catching murderers, not running a popularity contest. Well, did, that didn't go well. <laughs> I try to be sincere, but maybe at the wrong time. <laughs> Dragoon music. <laughs> the second one was the truth, and then maybe we need to doubt the third one. It's hard to know what to pick sometimes, you know? Alright, let's go to the Autobahn. Bob visited by the motor victim. 